Hi, Black Cat Recapped here. Today I am going to explain a comedy movie named The Hating Game. The movie starts with Lucy, a 28-year-old woman, sitting at her desk in a publishing company called Bexley and Gaiman. She works alongside Joshua, who sits next to her. Lucy really doesn't like Joshua and thinks about it a lot, especially in the mornings. They often act immaturely and play silly games at work. Lucy only feels motivated to do well when she's competing with Joshua, who she sees as her enemy. Both of them strongly dislike each other. Lucy spends a lot of time thinking about how to outdo Joshua and notices that he always wears blue clothes. In the next scene, they're both called to a meeting where the CEOs announce some big news. They want one of their assistants to become the chief operating officer. When they announce the new job, they give each other unhappy smiles because either wants the other to win. Lucy starts thinking about how she can beat Josh, and all she can think about is him. She wants him to regret bothering her, just like his actions have bothered her. So, she starts making plans to outdo him. After making her rivalry with Josh even stronger, Lucy goes home and talks to her mom. Her mom wonders why she's not going out with the guy from work that Lucy always talks about. This makes Lucy wonder why she always thinks about Josh. She goes to bed and has a dream about him. She wakes up thinking about the dream and gets the idea to try to seduce Josh to mess with his head and get him in trouble. The next day, she dresses up in a short, black dress to catch his attention. When Lucy walks into the office, Josh sees her and asks if she's going on a date. She fibs and says yes, making up a fake date and place. Josh coincidentally claims he's also going to the same place which makes Lucy feel awkward. He then asks if someone from the office is joining her, and she lies again. In reality, she dressed up to impress Josh. She goes downstairs and asks designer Danny to pretend to go out with her, but he doesn't believe her. She searches Josh's desk for evidence against him and finds codes in his planner that she can't understand. While they're in the elevator, Josh offers Lucy a ride, but she insists on walking to the cafe. Josh warns her about her high heels, and Lucy gets mad, but her anger fades as they make eye contact. They end up kissing in the elevator, which makes them both feel awkward when it stops. Josh drops Lucy off at the cafe where Danny is waiting. He offers her his umbrella, but she declines and rushes inside. While at the cafe, she can't stop thinking about the kiss. When she goes to the restroom, Josh unexpectedly shows up and Lucy gets angry at him for ruining her evening. She feels manipulated by him but also acknowledges his compliment about her appearance in the black dress. Josh says he's not there to ruin Lucy's night but to return her forgotten bag from his car. He insists on taking her to her date, which surprises her, but she still goes out with Danny and feels upset with Josh for messing up her plans. The day after, she gets roses and a note saying you're always gorgeous suspecting Danny as the sender. Despite feeling happy at work, Josh asks if they can forget the kiss they shared the night before, and Lucy agrees. He then suggests playing a game, but Lucy suggests they try being normal colleagues instead. However, when their boss arrives and asks about a campaign, Lucy suggests a new promotion idea, but Josh interrupts with his own paintball game idea, which gets approved. Lucy briefly imagines hurting Josh but quickly snaps out of it, agreeing to the new game idea. The next day, Josh's paintball game idea happens at work to help everyone bond. Danny wants to team up with Lucy, but Josh says teams are already set, and he and Lucy are on the same team. While getting ready to play, Lucy looks sick, but Josh notices and tries to help. She ignores him and joins the game anyway. During the game, Lucy tries hard to win, but Josh tries to protect her. However, she insists on taking risks and ends up hurt. They both fall down, and Josh stops the game when he sees Lucy is hurt. Lucy vomits on Josh, who takes care of her but hides his concern. He takes her home when she gets worse. Realizing she's really sick and has no one else, Josh stays to take care of her. Lucy wants him to leave but as he's calming her down, she vomits again. Josh calls his doctor brother, Patrick, to check on her. Patrick advises her to rest, 
then privately prescribes medicine for Lucy. Lucy overhears Josh talking to Patrick about marriage and inviting him to see her. Patrick convinces Josh to attend the wedding and bring Lucy along. After putting Lucy to bed, Josh makes her breakfast and tidies up her house in the morning. Lucy feels uncomfortable about it and tells him not to use those gestures at work, which upsets Josh, and he leaves abruptly. At the office, Danny confronts Lucy, bringing her flowers and escorting her to her office. When he leaves, Lucy notices strawberry juice on her table, something she mentioned to Joshua when she was sick. She figures out the flowers were from Josh, not Danny. She feels embarrassed because she bragged about Danny's flowers and wants to thank Josh. She asks if she can return the favor, even offering to go to his brother's wedding, but he hesitates. In the storeroom, Lucy tries to kiss him, but he insists she should kiss Danny instead. He tells her if she doesn't feel the same way about him, she should wish them well. Lucy and Danny kiss, but she realizes she feels nothing and decides to stay friends. On her way to Joshua's street, they meet, and she kisses him admitting no one kisses her like him. She notices his bedroom is a light blue color. He says he doesn't want to rush into intimacy because he wants more than just a one-time thing. Joshua kisses her again but refuses to go further. She gets mad and leaves his apartment. Lucy and Josh have to prepare some presentations for work. Lucy meets Danny for a walk to talk about Josh's presentation, feeling uneasy. Before leaving for the wedding, he tells Lucy to bring her weekend bag. On the way to the wedding, they flirt and talk about their attraction to each other. Lucy admits she dreamt about Joshua and had to lie to Danny about meeting someone. They enjoy themselves at the hotel until Joshua's mom asks for help with wedding decorations. Lucy finds out the bride, Mindy, is Joshua's ex, and she suspects he brought her as a date. Joshua stops Lucy from leaving saying he needs support because of his father's heartbreak. Joshua admits women have liked him for his looks but then moved on. He tells her that his father appreciated Patrick more. At the wedding brunch, Elaine reassures her that Lucy is special to Joshua. Lucy defends Joshua to Anthony, praising his good qualities. After returning to the city, they admit they love each other. Joshua reveals he painted his bedroom to match Lucy's eye color which flatters her. He confesses his love and suggests they stop fighting and be together, but Lucy worries about work getting in the way. Joshua reassures her and asks her to focus on them. They agree to start fresh that night. The next day, Lucy overhears Joshua talking to their boss. She misunderstands and thinks Joshua used their relationship to distract her from a promotion. Angry, she vows to beat him for the job. She confides in Danny. After a tough competition, they gather in the hall. Lucy expects Joshua to become the new operations director but is surprised when he announces she'll be the new CEO. Later, Lucy argues with someone on the phone about her writers, only to realize it's Joshua, asking her out on a date. They share a kiss.